afternoon, I should say. Actually, a good day. Good day? Hello? Well, anyways, it doesn't matter what it is. It's a new video. There's currently 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock, yeah, it's 2.30. So, that being said, I'm only now leaving. It's Sunday, 2.30 in the afternoon. Unfortunately, the guy did not fix my windshield wiper, so I am leaving with windshield wipers not working again, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, maybe they'll fix them somewhere in Poland, or this whole week it won't rain. I'm not enthusiastic for either one of those decisions, but apparently the load that I have going home is kind of, you know, an urgent load. So, apparently, I just have to go. So, we're not going to drive much today, uh, because we're not going to make the Warsaw Bend. And I'm probably not going to be able to wake up before it's over either. So, we're probably going to have a nice little chill night tonight. Um, nonetheless, uh, we'll, we will be stopping in a safety lot. We actually stopped there last week, but I didn't go inside the safe park. Like, I didn't go into the place where, where it's paid parking. So, there's that. Uh, I'm going to actually drive into the paid parking today because, well, we're not going to make it that far anyway. So, we got to be there for Tuesday. we got to get loaded Tuesday. And hopefully, everything works out for Tuesday. So... We'll try. We'll do our best. I still got a little bit of a cold, but nonetheless, we're going to try to make it. So yeah, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one, even though I haven't even uploaded it yet, but by the time you guys see this, it'll already be uploaded. So I did hope you enjoyed it. I thought it didn't turn out too bad, to be fair. Plus, remember, I got a Euro Truck. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I have a Euro Truck giveaway. Go on that video. Check it out. You'll know what you have to do for the Euro Truck giveaway. So remember, it's in the other video, not this one. I'm not going to repeat myself. So if you guys want to join that Euro Truck giveaway, yeah, you just got to go over there and check it out. So with that being said, we're driving through this part. We're going to stop at the gas station and fill up because we are currently almost out of fuel and we're almost out of DEF. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, let's, let's put the hammer down. Let's get her done. Well, let's see what we have here. Fellers, I see flashing lights. I don't know flashing lights are about, but I see a flashing lights. Did someone get a ticket? Did someone get in trouble? It's another cop going the other way, so it could be anything really. Yeah, someone got pulled over. I'm too just to keep my distance from the cop. There we go. Yeah, someone's in trouble. No, 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 you naughty. No, no. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, well, uh, we just filled up with gas. I, I, I had like the biggest misunderstanding at that gas station. I don't know what the hell was going on. But hey, we filled up. We're heading down to the border. We're going to take our break on the border. I'm not going to really eat on the border. Uh, I will find our next destination, which is it's not going to be a long day today. It's going to be very, eh, because it's already screwed up from the morning. Uh, if I left at 7, I probably would have got to where I like. Then, yeah, Tuesday morning unloaded. Tuesday in the afternoon, well, I think noon, loaded. So, apparently they didn't have anyone to give the slow to, so that's what's going on here. I am the only one that's going in that area, and I think everyone else already has a backload. What I've noticed so far working for this company, and I've worked for this company before, I've said they were just dispatched, they weren't the actual company I worked for. Uh, we were just the least time company to them, uh, with our own trailers and our own trucks, but their loads were there. I moved way more with their trucks. So obviously, I mean, you know, the companies can keep the better loads for themselves. And that's exactly what's happening here. They uh, they keep all the loads to themselves, uh, the good ones at least. I never, I worked for them half a year before this with the other guy until he sold his truck. Uh, never, never did I have a load already ready home. Like here, this is the second week I'm already gone there and I already have a load back, which, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I don't have to sit around. But for some reason, uh, well, not for some reason, obvious reasons. When it's their company, obviously they're going to get the loads themselves. So yeah, so I mean, there, there's the bright side, which means the more you're moving, the more money you're getting paid. Because I get paid per kilometer. So the more kilometers I do, the more cha-ching I rake in. So with that being said, we have about an hour and 60 minutes until our next stop. It's probably not an hour and 60 minutes, probably an hour. Exactly. So with that being said, let's continue down the road. Don't mind all of that. It's my sweater. Bag and stuff like that. Anyways, so I'm a little bit annoyed. I just got hit by a speed camera. I'm gonna show you that zone next week because I'm not gonna be able to drive from that direction this week. But next week definitely. So then check out next video because you'll understand what I mean. 
But driving up to that sign, I've drove past that multiple times. There is no sign of speed. So I just sent the truck on 87 and I went for it. I'm assuming that that camera is at least like 90 or something. <laughs> so uh, I'm a little annoyed with that because there's no signs of slowing down. There's no nothing and it just took a random picture. So it's also starting to rain, which is also not great, but what are you going to do, right? I am driving into uh, less clouds, so hopefully that helps. So week two already. The more weeks I get it behind the road, the better uh, for me financially. And financially, I need the monies right now. It's a little crooked here, let me help. There we go, that should be a little bit better. So yeah, nonetheless, uh, we're just trying to save up as much money as we can until fall, and then something will happen in fall. I don't know, how, it's gonna affect the videos and everything. So it's, it's something big happening in fall. I just don't know how I'll implement that part, but it doesn't matter. So we have, I don't know how long we have because my GPS doesn't know this road. So this is a brand new stretch of road that they opened up, which is lovely, but it doesn't recognize this road. So I can't really do much about that. So I gotta wait until we get out of here, but we don't have much left. We really don't. And we'll be uh, stopping in a paid parking spot again, uh, just because it's getting late and by the time I stop, it'll be impossible to find a free one. So yeah, we're not going to be driving that far because also the restrictions started in Warsaw, so that doesn't help either. Maybe I can take it through it. Can I? Hold up. No, because I think it starts at like 4 and ends at like 8 or something. Hmm. Maybe I can't make that restriction. I don't know when it, when it starts the second time. I, I never really drive through the second one, so I think it starts at 8. I'm not mistaken. We might actually make it to where I want to make it. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get her done. Maybe I'll make my destination, but even if I do, it's going to be very late and I'll start very early. Well, very late tomorrow as well. Although, it would it would basically fix the whole out schedule thing. That, that would be nice. So tomorrow we will be in Austria, Tuesday we get loaded, unloaded drive start driving back be in Lithuania Thursday instead of Friday uh, well we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes we'll go from there. I don't know if it looks as bad on the camera but like I said see the windshield is really dirty you can see a splat right there in the middle of the screen so I'm not gonna annoy you guys with that I don't know how much actual road footage I'm gonna get with that in the middle <coughs> I'm choking on something if I can't stop somewhere to clean it off I will uh, if not, very little road footage. Overall, overall, not a bad day. Look at that sunset. It's beautiful. Parking lot is getting a little full, but nonetheless, we are uh, at this gas station right here. It's actually really nice inside. I'm going to try to get a little quick sneak peek. We're going to go buy some chips because your boy needs a sodium. <laughs> so let's go get our potato chips. But yeah, this is where we're at today. This is where we're sleeping. My truck is over there somewhere. It's behind those cars. If you can see where the car hauler is, I'm right behind the car hauler. I was actually one of the few here. I drove for eight hours because, well, that's just how long my shift was and we have about six hours to our unload. So we're waking up early again tomorrow, but nonetheless, let's go get our potato chips. So this little bag, 65 grams, a Euro 34, bam. This better be the best damn pizza flavor chips I've ever had. Hopefully the bugs won't be too much of a problem right now. Although when he usually steps on his brake lights, it kind of is. I'll do my best. Anyways, I always take, you know, videos of me driving fast through the road, like just moving. Unfortunately, this is what this week has pretty much been like. Just, just straight up traffic. Yeah, there's bugs all over this windshield. I'll show you guys later. Had a delicious breakfast. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a big morning from McDonald's for the breakfast menu, but here in Austria they have it, and that thing is banging. Anyone from Austria knows exactly what I'm talking about. Apparently, it's a new item too. It should be a permanent item. It's uh, two patties. It's meat. Yeah, this guy gave up. He cut me off not that long ago, and now he just gave up. So that's great. Not mass. Anyway. <laughs> There's like, there is no reason for him to get into this lane. This lane is moving way slower than that lane. So why he got into this lane, I have no clue, but at least he made it better on the camera. So yeah, it's two patties, 
bacon, egg, cheese, tomato, lettuce, uh, mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. Bang it. I, 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 I just didn't feel like making anything. Plus, I have nothing to make in my truck. Except for, like, in the afternoons, I have actually stuff I can make. So, we're just uh, rolling around right now. I don't know how long this is going to take. We're currently 200 kilometers away from our destination. We're only getting loaded tomorrow. So, there's that. They told me to hurry. They didn't fix my windshield wiper because they had a load back. But apparently, the load's only tomorrow. And I only got the text today. So, Hopefully this traffic doesn't eat up too much of my clock, um, but it's being pretty successful in doing that. Hopefully it doesn't eat too much of my clock and we can actually make it as close to that other area as possible to our load and then go from there because, well, I want to go to that parking lot where I usually go, take a shower there and everything and just relax tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, but we got to get out of this traffic. I hate this city. It's the capital of Austria. Never was a fan of driving through here. Someone's calling me. I'll call you guys right back. So, in a way, we kind of got lucky, and we finally got some rain on our windshield. So you will see a little bit of raindrops, but this road is crazy. I've been literally cruising down the hill the entire time. My ears kind of feel compressed, but hey. We are 70 kilometers away, one hour and four minutes. Uh, nonetheless, this this road is just awesome. That's literally all I have to say is wow. So, you didn't see the climb up. Like the truck was just not getting enough air. It was just dying on me. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, uh, we got a little bit of rain. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain anymore. It looks like it's gonna be cloudy. So, God willing, that's what it is. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Uh, and look at all these beautiful mountains, these houses. I would not want to live here. Screw that. Also, driving through that city was a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah. I, I just can't stand that traffic. It, it, it annoys me so much, that city. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, we're going to get unloaded today. Oh, Learner 17. Hmm. Cool. So, we're going to get unloaded today. And then we're going to... That awful grounding. Whatever. Uh, we're going to try to get unloaded today. Not try, we're going to get unloaded today. Hopefully they unload me. Some places close at weird times in Austria, so... I don't know if I will be or won't be, but... Uh, Hopefully I will be, and then that way we can drive pretty much all the way to the loading place tomorrow. Drive like maybe 10, 20 minutes to the loading place, max half an hour. Get loaded, and back to Lithuania we go. Usually that's how it goes, and that's what we're going to try to keep it as. Um, yeah, nonetheless, that's, that's, that's all I wanted to really tell you guys, and uh, I will give you a time lapse from here. To leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. Back my life inside a car Hit the button, drive real far But that wreck could only die Oh, 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 oh. I'm dreaming of you So we get a lot these tunnels and this cabin is horribly insulated I would feel like I'm sitting outside um, but yeah a lot of these tunnels in Austria man like you'll, you'll be in them forever forever failure so yeah anyway I gotta ask for a cash advance unfortunate but I just started working so you know uh, what I bought for the last trip with the truck I'm kind of almost done going through plus I go went through a lot of it at home so I need a cash advance, I'm gonna call my boss today and be like, hey, I need the money, give me the money. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, probably everything I made on this trip so far is gonna be my cash advance, so this week is gonna be pretty much written off. I prefer two-time pay instead of one-time pay, just because one-time pay is kind of dumb, but uh, what are you gonna do? So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna call him and be like, hey, I, I'm short on cash, I need a little bit of cash, or something I want it. Yeah, with that being said, I'll get you guys on the flip side. Well, we're almost on our loading destination. 50 more minutes. Well, this is how my fucking morning started. My phone fell through the mattress and down into this little fucking space over here. All the way over here. Right, right where that metal is. So, this by theory, this drawer right here should pull out. But it didn't fucking want to. So, I got it to pull out. 
Sorry, I'm a little frustrated because that was annoying. Damn. Okay, so Sam haven't seen me in a while. It's been a couple of days. Yeah, it's still wearing the same shirt. Deal with it. Um, it's just been raining all day. I can't show you street footage because first half there was bugs on the windshield. Now on the way home, I just have a bunch of rain. So yeah, like a lot of rain. My windshield is just. Anyways, met up with three colleagues from the same company. They're like, hey, dude, why are you backing down? You know, like, get her get her fixed. Like, I mean, they're like, where are you driving without windshield wipers? I'm like, I don't know. It's been two weeks, man. Two weeks. I'm driving without windshield wipers. They, they, surely they're not going to try to send me out for the third. Surely they're not. Friday, I'm going to call them and be like, hey, where are we fixing it? I did the same thing last Friday. I'm like, where should I go to fix this thing? They're like, well, it must be the handle. Go there. We'll see about that. Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to focus on the roll because it is pretty bad. Just so you guys had an idea of how bad it is, on the, on the camera it makes it look so much better. I swear I'm about to put the camera in front of my face and just drive through the camera. You know, like, because this is, this is ridiculous. I can't, I can't turn on the windshield wipers, I can't do any of that. So, that's unfortunate. People are overtaking me, splashing even more on my windshield. It's just, it's just a cluster F, so, anyways, we're just gonna keep on trying to drive through this mess. Can you guys actually believe I'm getting road footage? <laughs> like, clean road footage, it just rained, windshield clean, ah, oh, so much better. So, I met up with some colleagues, they were like, dude, you need to fix your windshield wipers, where the hell are you going out with windshield wipers? Two weeks, two weeks, I, I, I don't know when it's gonna get fixed, but hopefully next trip. Uh, currently only 200, eh, roughly, about 100 miles. It's like the only conversion I could do right now. 100 miles away from my destination, but I'm not going to actually stop there. I'm going to stop before there. That's like my end point. Like if I made it that far, if I had to, then I could. But it's not, it's not as far as I need to make it. So there's a bit of a difference. As you can see, there's a bit of wind. Uh, the wind's been pushing me around today. It's been a bit of a bully. But nonetheless, we handled it. Um, yeah, but there's been a lot of wind. We're going to go retighten our straps. Thank you guys to show you the load. Um, you know how it is. And then we're going to restrike and re re we're going to restrap it. And um, yeah, we're taking it down to the same. We loaded in the same place and uh, we're unloading in the same place that we did last week. So, yeah. Oh, what is it going to do? Move. There we go. Uh, please, guys, if, you, if you're in a car... Uh, if you're in a car, please speed up. Like, for mother of God, please speed up. Let me overtake both of these trucks because these two motherfuckers are going to go slow. We're going to overtake them both. So, yeah, just, just get out of the way. Like, speed up. It's easier for you to speed up than it is for us to slow down and then speed up again. So, we would appreciate it. Anyways, with that being said, I have a bus that's hauling up on my head, but... And uh, I'm gonna get out of his way as soon as I'm overdone overtaking this guy. One step ahead. Not really, you're actually getting overtaken. But hey, as you can see, the day doesn't look great. It doesn't promise no rain, but I'm gonna take what I can get. So, yeah, let me just finish overtaking this guy. And we're gonna be done for now. I gotta stop somewhere for my break because uh, he, he let me over. So now, I'm gonna say thank you with the flashers. With the flashers. So, yeah. That's what's been going on. I'm actually happy I just have a clean windshield. And we're gonna queue a time lapse probably soon enough, right about now. So here's the problem with parking last night. There was trucks here. There's my truck, just sitting there. There's no trucks over there as you can see either. That's the problem with parking late at night. You have to park behind trucks just like that. And uh, just like that. I have enough room to get out, but as you can see, there's really no one here anymore. 
It's like an empty parking lot. And uh, that's because that's what happens when you drive past 6 o'clock in Hero, no matter where you're at. After 6, it's pain in the ass to find a spot. So I'm glad the one I found is the one I found because this is still not a bad gas station, but like I said, nothing here. Look at that. Empty. Well, there's a couple trucks over there. A couple over there. There's people like on curves and shit. Put the focus on that car. Hopefully you'll see what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here either yet, but I know it's cutting into my driving time, which I'm not a happy panda about. But let's see what's going on. There was a cop car that drove by. I don't know if you guys saw that. Was I filming or not yet? Uh, also, this guy drove by. It's closing down the lane. Uh, looks like someone definitely went into the guardrails. Uh, so that's not good. I don't know how much of this you can tell through these really shit windshield wipers of mine that don't work. Yeah, you can see that the whole yard rail is like jacked up and stuff, so. so let's see what happened. Yeah, definitely smacked up on guardrails pretty well. I wish it wasn't raining, but I had to each their own, right? There's a piece of something over here. Uh, a whole axle? What in the absolute hell happened here? Okay, we have a car accident. Oh, he lost his whole, that's his front axle. What in the Sam hell is that? Well, he's not having a great morning, and I thought my own morning was bad yesterday. You know, this is one of the more weirder parking lots I've had. There's a road right there, the highway system's over there, and you have to back it off off the street here. I was trying to go in front of him, but then I noticed my mirrors, and if you look, I'll park perfectly. Look at that, straight as an arrow. Oh, besides the fact that my trailer's crooked, if you look at the mirror, then you'll be able to tell see it's straight. Both mirrors, boom. So I finally got it straight. I'm actually quite satisfied with that, that I got it straight. So it stopped raining and it shouldn't rain anymore. We should make it to Lithuania. I have to say five minutes somewhere. Um, however, this the GPS doesn't take me through Warsaw the correct way. And it also doesn't know the drive around uh, another city. So they opened up a highway system and doesn't know about it yet. So we should be good. We should be good. I asked my boss for an advance because uh, we low on food. If you don't believe me, I will show you my fridge. But uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty skim. I literally have nothing to eat. Uh, I'll have some, some for today. So I'm still good on that front. Um, but yeah, we should be going on the weekend. We're going to be doing some stuff. I got to still watch Game of Thrones the last episode. So I uploaded yesterday's vlog. I wasted three gigs of data, but I had to get it up and I have to edit it today because tomorrow it has to go live at seven. So you guys will definitely get that. Um, with all that being said, I'm still waiting for my break then, which is six more minutes. So let's get back on the road and I'll actually be able to show you some more road footage. All righty. So... Finally some road footage, eh? Like, it, it's been a while since I've even made road footage. And traffic! Although there's supposed to be traffic here because there's construction going on here. So, with that being said, wow, there's a huge traffic jam. Huge traffic. Wow. That's a lot of motherfuckers in one line. It's because people don't know how to, um, people don't know how to merge into a lane. That's the problem. What are you gonna do? You can hear it. Watch, let me break and you guys will hear the fuse. Ready? Now. Do you hear that? Like, it's not supposed to be doing that, but hey. They used their own, I guess. And we have arrived. Two kilometers. Two kilometer back up. I should have probably been in the first lane. But does it really matter? It probably does. I don't know, I haven't been in a traffic jam in this before, so... Yeah, I was going to show you guys the, the, the construction they're doing here, but uh, wow! <laughs> Everyone's in that lane, so I'm going to have to probably try to come over. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. I don't know if it's mandatory to be in that lane, probably. Seeing how every truck is in that lane. From what I remember, that it goes into that lane anyways. So... Oh, we are here at a standstill. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> you can see the sign barely up ahead. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stop the camera. I'm just going to let a time lapse, see how long it takes us to get through here. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to make it to the border regardless. We're about 100 miles away from the border. And I got more than enough time. I got two hours. So unless this takes literally an hour, 
that move might not make it, but besides that, we should be fine. which is which is fantastic it's just it's just great there's the police of poland that's how their cars look in the gray and blue gray and blue uh so yeah now we're gonna drive uh 70 because this dirty is very very strict with their uh you know traffic so we're not gonna piss them off because they uh, have a lot of undercover cop cars and uh yeah so we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with that Ugh. there we go okay all right all right big girl all right all right, here we go. Floor it. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse. A little, it was actually a pretty long time lapse. Usually I don't do time lapse that long, but I, I was just showing you. Look at this traffic on the other side, though. Damn. At least they're at least they're merging. Most of them are right away. Some truckers are getting impatient. Some people are getting impatient. You can see them switching lanes and stuff. Kind of funny if you really think about it. Oh, I'm going over. I'm already speeding. <laughs> I was like, I should not speed. I would not speed. Uh, yeah, you ended up speeding, Dave. Let's see. What can we do here? We can do 67 and lock it at 70, and we will be fine. No one will pull us over. There's the traffic. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This part is going to be a little bit longer, but we're going to play a little bit of a game. It's called Spot the Bullshit Camera. <laughs> I'm kind of salty about this camera because it took a picture of me. Apparently I was speeding. Can't see the quotation marks, but oh, there's this, okay. There's, so there's a sign saying 60 here. All right, let's see if it gets crossed out before we make that camera. So it still says 60. Still says 60. Okay, that's fine. I haven't really paid that much attention to this intersection, but yeah. Anyway, still 60. Still 60. Apparently, GPS already. Okay, so 60 is gone. At this point, it is no longer a 60 zone. Okay. The camera's coming up in within 100 feet, so everything's crossed off, nothing there. Now let's keep on looking for a posted speed limit. So far, nothing. My, my GPS is saying, it's saying 90. Okay, so still no speed signs, nothing, okay? Not a single speed zone, not a single speed limit, not, nothing, okay? 
other signs are just saying, you know, twisty roads ahead and stuff like that. I'm actually really curious. And there's that camera right behind this green Scania, okay? So there's the camera, just chilling. And this is the camera that took a picture of me right there to the left, all right? That one took a picture of me. Now, if I look at its other sign, so what is this? That's just a green sign saying a village. What is this sign over here backwards? That sign is a bend. And this sign says what? That's the camera. So how are you supposed to know how fast to go past that sign? I got hit with a bullshit, I swear, if that ticket comes through. When we're coming back next week, we're gonna have the other side, but I just really wanted, to, we're about 10 miles away from the border. I just wanted to show how much bullshit that was that that sign even took, that, that thing even took a picture of me. That's just ridiculous. So coming back, we'll do it again. Uh, there's a there's a there's a sign here, but I think this is that the city is ending and there's no longer a 60 sign. Is that correct? That is correct. So coming back, we'll do the same thing again from the other direction because I am going to fight this ticket. Let me lower that AC. But this is going to be pretty much the end of the vlog. We are still over 100 miles away from home, but we're finally going home. We're going to be home right before 9 p.m. At least that's what I'm trying to do right now. The GPS says 9:30, but it did say 10 o'clock earlier when we started. So I'm, I'm hauling trying to beat this GPS. Uh, very stressful day. I woke up, I still haven't eaten, and it's currently, I can't, 30, 40 minutes, uh, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. I still haven't put a single thing in my mouth. That's what she said. Um, but yeah, overall, that's, that's just what's been going on today. We got unloaded eventually. I think we sat there for like almost two hours. But then once they started unloading, they did it pretty quick. I was just upset that it took them so long to even start in the first place, but it is what it is. Uh, and then we ended up showing up to this place. This place grabbed me right away too, but until I did everything, it was, I, I probably spent another hour there. And now we're racing to beat our 15 hour clock. That's what we're trying to beat right now at this very moment in time. We have enough drive time, we don't have enough overall time. So we're just trying to make it home. I can't wait to sit down and have a beer after this long week. Very stressful week. Also, apparently my wipers are finally getting fixed. They're taking the truck to the shop tomorrow. Uh, he has the part that I apparently have to pick it up from him. But nonetheless, I'm not going to be vlogging much, especially now because I'm trying to make it home as soon as I can. Just because, well, I'm not trying to sleep in the truck and then leave on Sunday, you know. So, with all that being said, let's, uh, let's haul. So we get to our destination, I guess. But overall, it's been a very stressful week. Overall, I'm just tired. I don't really want to do much. Let's see a speed cam right here. Lies. I, my, my GPS is showing me that there's a speed cam right here. There's no speed camera. Anyways, with all that being said, thanks for watching another video, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, keep on trucking and stay safe out there, guys. Peace.